Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is fine. So now let's start this week 7 assignment of programming in Python CEC course. Guys, before getting into that, I have a good news for you. So I want to reveal that. So this here it is. Programming in Python. Nearly 100 to 150 practice MCQs I can provide you guys. So completely based on NPTEL syllabus. That means no extra syllabus, no unnecessary no nonsense. Completely NPTEL based syllabus and specially designed for NPTEL students guys. So you can as a student offer as because many people are students right. So as a students offer and it may be your semester subject. So keeping in that mind I am giving for just 89 rupees only. I will make the uh, videos in parts. Maybe 2 or 3 parts it will take uh, depending on the content guys. So you can get nearly 100 to 150 practice MCQs. So don't miss this guys. So hope you use this opportunity and if it is your semester subject then try to join your friends and classmates in this membership guys. With just 89 per month you can get 100 to 150 practice MCQs. No one is preparing the practice MCQs. By the way no one is providing this course also. You, you know that already. So I have been providing from since week 1. So with that I am going to give you these solutions also. So I am preparing 100 to 150 practice MCQs. A lot of hard work is involved in that. So hope you understand and I think it will be a great practice for your final exam with just 89 rupees. That means not only 100 rupees, not even 100, below, below even below 90 you can get with 89 rupees pack only. So I will show you how to join in that. First of all go to our channel page. I will give the link in the description box. You can click that or you can directly go to our channel by clicking on min by typing skumaredu in the search box. So it will be like this. Our channel will, page will be open like this. So beside the subscribe button, there is join button, right? So click on that. And there will be three types of packs available. If I upload any live video and if you want that access of live videos, you can join 119 pack and click on join. Or if you want only recorded videos, you can go through 18 pack. So guys, the benefit of 119 pack is, it 119 pack gets, uh, have inbuilt features of both the other two packs that means 119 pack is all in one pack if you select this one pack it will be equal to combined combination of all these three it, it will be containing all these remaining two features in this within this only so I think it will be better for you or if you want only recorded videos then you can click on that and click on join and make payment that's it you will become member of our channel guys uh, first try it in your mobile phone so if it doesn't work then try your laptop or PC and the other good news is that with this 89 pack you are not only getting this single course all the courses that I upload you can see I have already uploaded programming data structures and algorithms using python course so and also I am going to upload joy of computing using python course that means with 89 rupees you are getting three types of python related courses also it will be very beneficial for you guys with 89, 89 rupees you are in the in the day to day life you are not getting anything right so with just 89 rupees you can get access to all the videos that I upload uh, DBMS, soft skill development etc data mining so you can get all these courses for the single 89 pack only so hurry up guys hope you join in this and take good decision and make other people other classmates also join in this so share the link in the description in within your whatsapp groups or telegram groups and make everyone join in that if you have any doubts please ask me in the comment section regarding this so let's see the solutions now so this is week 7 assignment now let's see the solutions so first question what is the output of the following code guys these are 100% correct solutions so don't no need to worry so for first question they have given z is equals 5 comma 6 they assigned a tuple for value z mean variable z they are they are asking to print 2 into z that means it is a tuple right so it is not a number to get double here the 2 into z means 2 times the 5 comma 6 is repeated that means answer is first option 5 comma 6 and again 5 comma 6 and a single all these will be within a single tuple so first option is the correct answer so now let's move on to the second one so second question a string or list can be converted to a tuple 
using which function using for function string tuple and list so guys the correct answer is actually they did not give correct answer here the nearest answer is third option because they have given a sm small spelling mistake so it should be tuple tuple function there is no double f they have mistakenly given extra f so correct answer will be most probably third option guys tuple is the function that will be used to convert a string or list into a tuple so now let's move on to the third question so third one what is the output of the following code so they have given z is equals 5 6 7 8 a tuple so they are asking the output of this two line code so for third question the correct answer is first option so how first option i will show you guys what uh, first of all what is this index one represents one represent this is uh, five means zero index six means one index so it should start with uh, one index to six comma until minus one minus one means from right to left eight is the minus one guys and seven is minus two right so we should not consider this right bound and only that means from six and just before minus one that means seven only only six comma seven will be printed so this is the answer so mark first option as correct answer for third question next one moving on to the fourth one what is the output of the following code So guys, if you see, uh, Z has Z assigned to a tuple. It contains three elements, mean three strings actually. In precise, if you tell, Asha, Hina, and Rose. So they are asking to print Z such that from minus one to zero index. So if you print, what will happen? So the correct answer if you do execution is you will get fourth option that means empty tuple is returned because if you consider from minus 1 to 0 there will be uh, minus 1 is to 0 there will be no slicing right that means no one is selected within this given boundaries uh, it doesn't exist so empty tuple is printed if i want if you want to explain me clearly if you see here guys clearly reason i am showing so they are this represents minus 1 is to 0 it represents not in between these two that means within the asha and rose they are not asking this one they are asking with between these two that means it should be uh, it should not be a circle in this direction it will be in this direction so within rose and asha if you consider this as a cycle asha Hina, Rose and again it will be Asha, right? It is a circle. So they are asking this path. So between Rose and Asha, nothing is there, right? Empty. If you consider it clockwise direction, there will be Hina. Answer will be Hina actually. If they have given 0 is to minus 1, then it will have been this in between one. But they are having uh, given reverse, minus 1 is to 0. That means within these two, in this direction. So after rows it will be again cycle asha only. So within rows and asha there will be nothing except empty one. So empty is uh, empty tuple is returned. So hope you understood that guys. Next question. Fifth one. Which of the following is a python tuple? So guys we know the general representation of tuple. What is the general repre representation? It is rounded brackets right rounded brackets so here you can see my tuple the name of the tuple is my tuple and it is represented within rounded brackets so answer is third option guys i am making it very simple for you by by uh, because uh, i mean 
I am explaining everything right so next question sixth one <coughs> the following code will not result in an error they have given here they have given a program not asking the output guys they are already giving the statement right so they are what in the statement they are mentioning that it will not result in error is the statement true or false they are telling that this code will not give error so they have assigned a tuple named my tuple and assign 1 2 3 4 4 values tuple to the my tuple name with my tuple name and they are appending that my tuple dot append so when you execute this you will get error but they have given you will not it will not result in error so the given statement is false guys why do you get error actually here means so tuple does not have the method called append so if you are trying to append this by using this append function it will not work because tuple does not have a attribute called append so you will definitely get error next question which of uh, what is the output of the following code so they have given uh, three four five characters it is a character string mean character tuple so it has five characters mean strings if you consider this as string so there are five strings so they are asking max of z max of z so what is the max of z will print so it will print answer d so mark third option as correct answer for seventh question let's move on to the eighth one now <coughs> which of the following options will not result in an error when performed on tuples in python where tuple is equals they have given a tuple so integer tuple so uh, I have already told you guys append is not an attribute of tuple right so this will give you an error and tuple dot sort sort will also give you error and tuple of 1 is equals to so that means tuple of 1 means index 1 means this one so it will be assigning 2 value already it is 2 and again they are assigning but tuples are immutable right but they are trying to change it so it is also error so the correct answer will be third option it will not give you an error moving on to the ninth question now <coughs> what is the output of the following code so they have assigned guys here within a tuple there is a list right and a string and also two integers and z of 0 1 that means in 0th index it's a list right so this 0 it will be 0 of 0 it will be 0 of 1 that means they are trying to change 30 with 1 actually if there is sing, uh, dimension it will be refers to this one right this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 and within this 0 it will be again this is main 0 and it will be sub, uh, sub index 0 of 0 and 30 will be 0 of I mean 0 and 1 so 0 of 1 will be assigned value 1 so within this 30 30 is changed to 1 so how we will get instead of 30 you will get 1 so 1 1 comma 1 within the list x y z string as it is 2 and 7 as it is so mark first option hope you have understand guys so let's move on to the final question of the assignment that is 10th question guys I have already told you that just once again I am reminding this so you can get 100 to 150 practice and CQs for just 1800 rupees only as a student offer so don't miss this opportunity guys it is completely based on NPTEL syllabus and no extra syllabus is given completely based on topic and it will be very much helpful for you in the practice of final exam so don't uh, don't make late guys be hurry so do it fast and it is specially designed for NPTEL students as I have already told you so programming in Python 
joy of computing using python programming data structures and algorithms using python you can get all these three courses very beneficial for you within this 89 rupees only so don't miss this opportunity just go to our channel page click on join button select 89 or 119 pack click on join and make payment guys upi is available paytm wallet is available De debit card and credit card is also available you can do whichever you want according to your comfort so that's it guys you will become member of our channel and you can join in this you may join in this list these are top eight members of our channel already many people have jo already joined and you can it will be not fit in this column so only top eight will be displayed by youtube so many people are joined and still joining goes on so let's move on to the 10th question make your classmates also join in this guys if it is your semester subject it will be combinedly helpful for you right so the help you can do to your classmates is making them join in this that's it so what is the output of the following code so they have assigned tuple 1 t1 1 2 4 4 3 actually it is 3 it is uh, combined with this it overlapped with this it is 3 if you highlight you can get it 3 and t2 they have given 1 2 3 4 so print t1 less than t2 so what will be the output t1 less than t2 is this true or false so the answer is false so mark second option as correct answer for 10th question so friends these are the solutions for week 7 assignment of programming in python course hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share this to your friends also so guys as i have already told you join in this and get better practice ahead of the final exam if you have any doubts regarding this you can ask me in the comment section don't worry guys so that's it for today's video so until the next video goodbye thank you